Justin's packing all along his tackle box right here. That's all you got? That's all I got today. It's something that's uh, beautiful about trout fishing. This is all you need to go. Seriously, right something so simple. Whatever can fit in a little wrap of the box. That's getting me really hyped up for the set. Usually I pack it light, but I usually have a whole tackle box. I respect this a lot. Something, usually when I go bass fishing, I have like 10 rods, two, five tackle boxes loaded. So something nice to do for a change here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And then water, backpack, get the rods, and then dude, we're literally all set. That's it, that's all we need. Trout fishing is so easy. That's that's why this, this kind of fishing truly got me into fishing. Yeah. Just wading up streams and the environment's always changing. Let's go, bro. So let's, uh, let's take the wood route. The good old MEPS 3. Big boy. Yeah, this is really this is my, one of my favorite lures for big wild brown trout. Really? You kind of can't go wrong with it. Yeah. And just like the conditions, man, I don't think we could have asked for anything better. Ready to get our first cast out there? Perfect blue. Let's go. Just had like a 20 plus inch brown followed in. Oh, 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 dude, he's coming back. Yeah, get your countdown over there. Yeah, that might be what he wants. As long as we keep working him, we're going to catch him. That's a good sign. The fish are falling in pretty heavy. I'm throwing the spinner, Justin's throwing the countdown, so we're kind of varying it up and throwing two different style presentations to really figure out what the fish are keying on to. Very important with trout fishing. Number one tip I'd give you guys, keep working upstream. Number two tip is keep on throwing different lures until you figure out the ones they're trying to bite. Because like you saw with the challenge when I tried to catch a fish on every lure in my tackle box or every style lure, they really key onto something specific and you can catch fish on anything in your box, especially during the spring. But there's always gonna be that lure that does a little bit better. We're just gonna figure that out today and then stick with it. I think I might have seen him slightly come for it. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. That's the cast, that should get him. That should get him, come on, come on, come on fish. Wow, that was a smart fish though. Cause yeah, he, he, he took like one good look at it, swiped it, missed it, and then mm -hmm. sometimes with the trout, they just don't come back afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I think I gotta put a spoon on. Mm -hmm. Like a little Phoebe. Oh, nice dude. Justin's fouled. on. That's a big one. A big one. The lure was fouled up and it came up. And oh, no kidding, dude. Well, it's looking like a nice brown, too. I think this might be my first wild brown ever. Let's get him landed. On the countdown, we're trying to see what lure these fish are wanting. It, so far, it seems like the countdown's the ticket. It's a solid fish, dude. Probably 17 incher. 16 incher. Yes. yes, let's Dude, go. Dude, give me some. In the boat. First wild brown ever for Justin. First wild brown ever. What a fish. Look at that one, dude. That, that is a beautiful fish. Look at that. Yeah. On that little brown trout countdown. Always great to get the first bite of the day. Another look at that fish, dude. We'll get him right back on his way. Beautiful fish. Gorgeous wild brown. Your first wild ever. First wild ever. And that's a chunk too. Definitely at least 16, 16 and a half inch. Really. And the, the lure was fouled up when the it was coming The lure was up. fouled up and he came and got it off the surface. Pretty much top water hit yeah. for this fish. Catch release as always. He's yeah, gone. Dude, Healthy. Off like a bullet. Healthy nice. release. Let's go, dude. Like a laker almost. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that, that got me going seeing that bite so quickly. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm gonna put a spoon on. Cause like the spinner and the current's good. I'm switching from the MEPS guys. I am going to a crocodile spoon actually. That's one of my favorite lures for this. For this river, little croc. The fish are seeming to be on the side of the current. There's a little pocket right in front of us. Justin just missed another one. I'm putting on the crocodile spoon. We might just be slaying them all day. Might just be. Nothing crazy, just the most insane trout fishing you could ever experience. For Justin's first trip for wild browns and a solid wilderness trout fisher, what are you thinking so far, dude? I think my day's already made. So <laughs> are you coming back? I don't even have to fish. I'm, do I'm good. <laughs> the rest of the day. You think you're gonna come back out trout fishing? Oh yeah, of course, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, oh you got one on it. Oh, oh, no. oh, another one. Another good one. Oh, dude. dude. We, we just saw the take. We saw the whole take, dude. Yeah, Justin's gonna be hooked on trout fishing pretty soon. <laughs> This kid's big into walleye fishing. He's dialed in every aspect of the sport. And now I think I got some competition for the wild brown trout fishing. You got me hooked, this guy, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh dude, that, that's a nice one. What a pretty fish. Chomp the countdown, another gorgeous wild brown. Good fighters too. Yeah, dude. So pretty. Let's go. Always good. Wet your hands, get them get back in the water as soon as possible, just like you see we're doing water. here. These trout are very fragile. 
closer it gets to the summer, the less you want to trout fish. Right now it's pretty much optimal. Like they're they're biting good. You won't harm them too much. And then, nice dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta get the fist bump. Even though I'm holding the whole tackle box, that was a tough fist bump to get, but we had to get it because. Yeah, it's so necessary. Still haven't even gotten the chance to switch lure. <laughs> and you're just catching fish. That was sick. I watched them come up. And just... Yeah, it's all like, like torpedo behind it. Oh, fuck. oh, those are my least favorite things in the entire world. Yeah, those ducks, the amount of times they've ruined the trout fishing. Yeah. Oh man, it's not good. Because sometimes they'll be up ahead of me in the creek yep. and they'll just keep going up. I get really oh. mad. No, Another dude. one. Are you kidding Bro. me? Bro. Three in a row? Rainbow this time. Ooh. Rainbow, first rainbow of the day, um, and as you can see, this is no no joke. This is literally two casts, two fish. I was still trying to tie my bait on. Three in a row. Wow, dude. Beautiful. I guess this is a stock, huh? Yep, that's a stocked fish. Even though he's got nice fins, he does have beautiful colors. Way nicer than any stocked one. I've fish are still coming in, left and right. Oh, quick release. There he goes. Beautiful, Ooh. dude. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, just like Justin caught all the stripers, he might catch all the trout today. Nah, I think Scott, Sky's been holding out for the big one today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I gotta tie the lure on first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll let you tie up now. All right, thank you. Justin's giving me a second to tie up. The problem is I can't get the, the hook out. We need the trifecta today now. What's that? We need the trifecta. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yep, yep, yep. This will be the lure. Crocodile is officially tied on. Let's see if we can get this big brown in the back of the pool. They follow me in before because chances are that fish is still hungry. It's always fun fishing when the rain's coming down because a lot of bait being pumped into the river and conditions could change up in front of your eyes. I've been fishing this river sometimes when the, the rain will kick in and then it turns into like it gets stained pretty good. Yep. And right then that the fish fire, dude, like that's when I call it my biggest ones. Because right now, even though like the, the river's high, fl like flows are still clear. So the truly biggest brown trout aren't exactly going to be just out in the open feeding. They're still going to be yep. tucked pretty far back under a rock or something. Then they, uh, oh, got him, got him, dude. A little, little rainbow to start the day off for me. My first fish, oh, acrobatic little guy. jumper. Oh, my gosh, dude. They, they do put up a really good fight sometimes. And look at the colors. What a clean fish. Beautiful chrome looking down. chrome little guy. I was going to say chrome beast, but not quite the beast. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. There we go. Somehow got that good release, almost just plunked them back in there, but Beautiful trout <laughs> yeah, I've gotten, I still struggle sometimes holding the trout, but I've definitely gotten good at like catching them when they do some dumb shit. Cause they, <laughs> they like to sometimes do that. Right. Starting to work upstream a little bit, cover more water. That pool was loaded. Justin went back to back to back, three casts, three fish. And now we're just looking to land that 20 plus inch wild brown. That's the goal for today. Now that we've already landed some 16 inches, some solid fish. I think I had a 20 follow me in on one of my first casts with a spinner. So they're definitely, oh my God, oh my God, dude. Giant, giant, giant. Just back spun my reel. Just back spun it, dude. Oh, I don't know if, if that was captured at all. That was a crazy wicked hit. Such a strong hit that my reel just started spinning back. And that's my biggest wild round of the day. Nice 15 and a half inch fish on the crocodile spoon. I threw this on to weed out the smaller ones. And that's exactly why I put it on to land a fish of this caliber. That's a that's a nice, nice wild brown. Not quite as big as Justin's, but nice one, dude. Beautiful. Heck yeah. Did you see what happened there, dude? I, I thought it had to be like a 30 incher. Oh man, he's ready to go. This fish hit it and my reel just blew up. Like I swear it's the straight back. Um hey, the, the fish are biting good. That fish came out of the current. So we've been catching a lot of fish in this little eddy pocket water right here, deep, deep pocket. Been catching a lot of fish here, but they're also in the current. So fish all over the place, pretty much hitting anything. And we're gonna have a solid day out here, guys. Oh, 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 dude, big one, big one at the bank. Oh, did you see that? 